First of all, Africa is not a poor continent. It's not. It is a continent that has many, many resources. Moreover, uh, rare earth, metals, raw materials, 50% of arable lands. We're not taking care of that. And Africa today is victim of, ma of many external spoilers that work against its stability. It is something that can be used against us. And with regard to Africa, the issue of China comes up. Yeah. And I want to ask you about that. Um, is China dominating or trying to dominate the continent and scooping up some of those raw materials and metals that you mentioned that are so critical to technology? Absolutely. China has a, an important presence at the time in Africa. And, uh, well, I think it's normal that everyone try to, tries to defend its national interests. The problem is if we are able to do that. I mean, what I don't really agree with is the approach that sometimes the West world had with these countries. For the idea I have is that we are uh, always ready to give, give advices, but not so ready to give a hand. They don't trust us a lot. And I cannot say that uh, they are completely wrong. That's why my opinion is that we have to change this approach. What I want to do is to bring investments in Africa. Bring investments not only to say we want to help. No, that's not, that's not geopolit geopolitics. Uh, if you want to do serious things, you have to do things that are uh, useful for both. For example, now we, now we have a problem in Europe about energy services after the war, but Africa is potentially an enormous producer of energy, of every kind of energy, green energy, hydrogen, uh, geothermic, they've got gas, they've got everything. So if we help them taking out and producing this energy and we tie them with Europe, we will solve many problems together. See, it's 2023. Wahala for who still they believe Europeans so believe Europeans at your own risk. Yes, yeah, so believe these people at your own peril. I don't know about any other person, but I'm at a point where I see every single freaking thing these people do are suspicious. And I'm not even apologetic about this. I am unapologetically constantly side eyeing these people and their activities. So Africa isn't poor again. That was quick. Who would have thought a day would come where they would be going back on their own narrative? The dark continent, eh? It'd be like say light, not they shine for you. <laughs> only them came and said, poor continent. Now only them are coming back to say they are not poor. These people, they are matter not tired me. But what I know is very simple. Just leave us alone. Leave us alone. We, we don't want to work with you people. We don't want to. These people, I don't think they have it in them to be able to play fair with anybody. I mean, they can talk that good talk, but I don't think these people would ever be able to play fairly. I want to coexist equally with anybody. I don't think they can. They have been playing unfairly for too long now. Hundreds of hundreds of years playing unfairly. See, if you ask me, eh, I think they would even have an unfairly gene right now in their biology. I swear, if we take a microscope and look at these people's DNA, we would find a gene there that stands for cannot play fairly with other groups of people. So I don't trust any of these, oh, we need to change. Mm -mm, these people cannot change. They can't. And I don't even want to find out if they can or can't. I feel like we're just going to be risking too much trying to figure this out or trying to see if they've changed. I, mm -hmm. They're not fit change. They're not fit. They are too freaking greedy. They want too much and they don't want anybody to have anything. These people don't put pepper inside our eye. History has shown us too much for us to make that dumb mistake again to say we won't trust them. It's going to be one very, very big mistake, the dumbest mistake even because, you know, what happened happened. We are supposed to learn from that and say never again. 
and especially because the only reason why they want to come and you know play fair now is because times are changing things are changing on the continent things are not going as easily for them as it used to now they're like okay let us try a different strategy this is just them strategizing nothing more they see that their previous methods are no longer working things are changing on the continent and they are changing accordingly so they can continue to get what they want from the continent it's not necessarily because they care or they feel bad about the things that they did to Africans in the past or that they care about Africans presently and our situation. They are just trying to rebrand. This is rebranding. Oh, Africa is not poor. Eh? Please, we are poor. Leave us alone. <laughs> Leave us alone, please. Like the way these people sit down to discuss Africa, eh? if you don't know any better, you think Africa is their property. Like they legit, I think, believe that Africa is their own, their birthright or something. And whenever they're talking about the continent, they always bring up China. And the energy all the time when they do this is giving, um, China is coming to take over our property. We need to find a way to stop them. Like when these people are talking about the continent, you would think it's an empty land where nobody even lives. That's how they speak about the continent. It's like nobody lives there. Okay, now this place has no owner. It's ours now. So any other person that's coming in, we're going to try and stop them because they're coming to take our property. That's legit how they speak about the continent. You would think there's nobody living here. Like the people here don't even have a say in, in the matter, being on the matter, English, whatever, moving on. They speak about this continent like there's nobody here. And it's crazy to me, man. See, me, I'm not a fan of China. I don't want none of these people on this continent. Because me, self gone, and they give China some serious bombastic side eye, for real. But back to Europeans, just leave Africans alone. We don't want your help, Meloni. Shall not, don't, mm -mm, mm -mm. Just, don't, just stay over there in Italy, in Europe. All of you, stay in your respective countries and leave us alone. Just stay there and leave us alone. Use your resources you people have over there. <laughs> See, the reason why I'm laughing right now is because I made the mistake of Googling what resources does Europe have some time back. <laughs> and I was saying fish. <laughs> That thing bloody almost killed me because I'm like, oh my goodness, they're so rich. <laughs> but jokes aside, eh, the, all of these things is just like, it just re-strategizing that they are doing. These people don't really care. They All they care about is what they want and what they can get and how they can go about getting all of these things. They don't really care about us, the people on this continent. They don't really care about the continent itself even. All they care about is what we have in our soil. That's what this battle is all about. So now they are in a tight corner. Previous methods are not working for them anymore. They are like, oh, what can we do now? What can we do to make sure that we don't lose our access to the resources on the continent? We don't lose all of this good thing we are getting from there. So they are re-strategizing and basically, in my opinion, pretending, trying to pretend to be good because we know these people don't really mean none of these things they are saying. They are just fronting with their words, trying to buy into the minds of African people. Don't fall for it.